when he was thinking about this church, wasn't entirely sure what it was going to be called. So, like I said, in May, when the church opened, um, it was blessed and opened as the university church, and it didn't necessarily have a name attached to it yet. And all of the references around May 1856 that Newman makes to the space, he calls St. Peter and St. Paul. Um, or the university church um, and when Pollen is talking about the church he also mentions St. Peter and St. Paul and Pollen's daughter wrote an extensive biography of Pollen's life and she every time she refers to the space calls it St. Peter and St. Paul and we have a whole series of stories from the lives of St. Peter and St. Paul and obviously uh, Paul and was a uh, an average preacher and so that was definitely going to be inspiration for, for Newman and then on either side of this pulpit we have and it's going to be hard for you to see from where you are but you'll be able to see this one here this one is Paul and on the other side there's a matching one that's Peter and he's put them on either side of the pulpit to kind of um, because that's what he wants them the pulpit to be associated with and um, people to be thinking about um, and so I think that even in May in 1856, he wasn't entirely sure um, what the church was going to be named and, and what was at its centre. Um, but, but up until that point, it was always referred to as St. Peter and St. Paul, and then it was blessed as a university church. And like I said, it wasn't until November, um, late November, months after the church opened, that this Mary was finished in the centre of this apse. The Our Lady seat of wisdom, seated on the throne with the, the lilies of innocence on either side, and this lovely um, um, inscription, Sede Serpiente, which means seat of wisdom, and then the, the dove above her, um, and all in line with um, this hand up here. So we have the Holy Spirit and God the Father, and then we have um, uh, Jesus represented here by this cross. So it wasn't until much later in that in that year that um, this was finished. And so I'm not sure exactly when it became Our Lady's Seat of Wisdom, um, but it would be a very interesting thing to, to know um, at what point it, it went from being the Church of St. Peter and St. Paul, especially because one image of Mary versus a whole series of paintings and these um, lovely lunettes on either side of the, um, it just feels, almost out of balance somehow.